Hello and welcome to the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom video tutorials for, from online training. If you joined us last time you remember that we inserted six photos into the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom program. In this tutorial we are going to use metadata to sort those six photos into different fields. So let's start off by opening Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Please remember these are the six photos we inserted last time. If you didn't join us, all we simply inserted six photos using the import button and set some brief metadata. But metadata can be expanded greatly by using keywords for each photo. At the moment we set two words, London and Paris, as the trip was to London with Paris. I was really brief with this metadata as I didn't want to put in everything as I'm going to do that for individual photos. So at the moment in the find box if I typed in London I'd get all six photos. As I've only got six photos in Lightroom at the moment, it's hard to show this. And also Paris would come up with just the same. But we want to sort that better. So if I look at my first photo, you can tell this by the white outline range of the grey colour. I'm going to set some individual metadata for that or keywords. If you look on the right side of the layout, you'll see a keywords tag box. At the moment we've got the two keywords, London and Paris. But we want to expand on that. So what can you see in this photo? Well you might not be able to see a lot. But when I took this photo, I was in Harrods, the superstore in London. So that's another keyword we can input, Harrods. The next thing in that photo is on the left, there's a lady standing in the corner. That is my name. So, and I'm Christine. We can import that name. We do that. So now, instead of just London, Paris, we've got London, Paris, Harrods and Christine. That's narrowed it down a lot. Moving on to number two, nothing really apart from Harrods. So, with a space in between each word, Harrods. Number three, again, nothing much but Harrods. Do that. Four, again, Christine and Harrods. On rushing these, if I, I could be a lot more specific if I wanted, I could put sweets as we were in the sweet department. I could even narrow it down to the colour of different floors. If you if you are a professional photographer and will need these again. Be specific. Spend an hour going through your folders and doing this to each of them. Right, number five. Quite a lot in this picture. First of all, what we've already done, we're in Harrods. And there on my right is Christine. Some more family members there. With Julie and Jasmine. So, there we go. Finally, last picture we've inserted. Again, we're in Harrods. I'm going to be... Um, not that specific on these photos and jam in. That's took me five minutes and already now we can tell this now by okay we can put London in again. You get all your photos up. Of course I put Paris in. You get all your photos up. But if I have hundred and fifty photos of different areas when it comes to Jasmine's birthday, I want to put a nice slideshow together. Instead of trawling through folders of photos now if I've done this along the way, all I need to do is type in Jasmine's name and already out those two, there's the two for Jasmine in. Again, it's called Christine's birthday. All three photos is Christine in. Harrods. They're all going to have Harrods, but there you go. And see how specific you can be with metadata. So, I'd advise every time you insert a folder, if it's got 100 photos in, it'll take you half an hour to go through and put some metadata for each photo. It's well worth it because when you come to have thousands of photos in your library, like I have on my Photoshop Lightroom, on my main computer, it's well worth having metadata. Great, I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, onlinetraining.co.nr is not a funded website, so we do not have prepaid domain names. You have to use free web space, which is donated. So, if you like the tutorials you've seen, even though you're in low res watching on YouTube, as I say, we have no funding for web space, you can buy these on DVD or on CD ROM to play back at your own leisure. They're very cheap, and all the money goes to funding to buy web space and buy new software programs so we can put tutorials. Hope you enjoyed it. Join us next time, and goodbye.